Tactical Tuesday. <laughs> we're back for Tactical Tuesday. Hello. All right, so what are we going to go over today? Today we're going to go over, first thing is reloading. Okay. When your weapon malfunctions or you've gone dry, depending on what people call it different things, it means the same thing. If your weapon has no bullet in the chamber, it's a malfunction. You have to do something, whether you transition or reload. We're going to cover reloading first. Yep. Okay. And what are the two main types of reloads we're going to cover? In the sense of the malfunction, an emergency reload. If you're engaging, you've gone down on rounds, and you have to get something in there fast, reload it. Or a tactical reload. We're moving. I fired some rounds, but I don't want to go into a room or a hallway, engage more targets. Maybe I've lost count of how many rounds I have left, so I tactically remove it save it and put a new one in where it's fresh or full and now go back in and engage new targets okay perfect so first we're going to have you go through full speed we're going to have you fire down fire down range conduct an emergency reload get back on target and then we'll go through step by step so on you all right ready ready So now I'm going to have you walk us through the emergency reload step by step. For purpose of the video, we'll say that you just shot down range at a target, you went till full empty or malfunction, and now you need to conduct that emergency reload. So I want you to walk myself and the viewers through it step by step of what you're doing, when you're doing it, and why you're doing it. So, all right, on you. So I'm up on the weapon. I've engaged targets already. I've fired rounds. Then all of a sudden we hear the worst thing we can hear, and that's this. We have to recognize that occurred. I'm going to turn my weapon while releasing the magazine. Meanwhile, at the same time, my hand that came down is already reaching for a mag. It comes up, goes in, and now I can cycle another round in it. Now, if you noticed, everything was done up here. Dropping the mag was done up here. I didn't look down to have to search for my gear because it should already be where I've placed it and it's placed where I need it ergonomically and tactically. So everything can be, without having to look at it, obtained, reacquired, engaged, reloaded, and then come back up and fire. Now, that was an emergency reload. In other words, we just malfunctioned when I went dry and I had to basically get the weapon back in battery, as we call it, and that's grabbing another mag, sticking it in, and getting ready to go. That is different than a tactical reload. Tactical reload, I would actually pull my mag out, put it somewhere safely, grab a new one, a fresh one, reload it, and then take that mag and restore it back on my vest because maybe there's still four or five rounds in it and I might need that later on in the firefight. All right, Big, we just went over the emergency reload. Now we're gonna do the tactical reload. I want you to run through it full speed, do the tactical reload, and then after that, we'll break it down step by step of what you're doing, when you're doing it, and why you're doing it. All right? So, on you. All right, Big. So, we just did the tactical reload full speed. Now, I want you to break it down step by step, what you're doing, when you're doing it, why you're doing it. And we'll go on you. All right. So, like we did in the previous video, I've already engaged targets, and maybe I've lost count of how many rounds I've fired. I'm not sure. Maybe I have two left. Maybe I have five left. But now I want to put a fresh magazine in and not throw away the magazine that I have in the weapon because there are some valuable rounds still in there that I can use, especially if I start running low. So at that point, I decide it's time to make a tactical switch. I go ahead and pull the magazine out. I'm still, if you notice, looking downrange. Put it back into a pouch somewhere or a pocket. Go find my new mag, bring it up, insert it just like we did in the emergency reload, still watching downrange for any targets moving or moving from side to side, and then come back up and then re-engage, and now I have a fresh magazine in. 
All right, Big, now that we've gone over the emergency reload and tactical reload and walked it through step by step, what are some of the key points of an emergency reload? Key points of an emergency reload because you've had a weapon malfunction would, first of all, be speed, getting a fresh mag in here as quickly and effectively as possible, and secondarily, making sure you put a round in because you have to remember you went dry. There was nothing fired, so there is no tactically reloading and saving this mag. We are going to dump it as quick as we can and as fast as we can, get a new one in it, and be ready to fire and go. All right, so we went over the differences or the key points of an emergency reload. So what are the key points to take into consideration for a tactical reload? First key point is I'm in a position to be able to do the tactical reload safely. What I mean by that is maybe behind a position of cover. I know before I take this hallway to the left, we'll use as our example, before I take that and I might engage three or four targets down the hallway, I want to have a fresh mag in here, especially if I just fired it coming out of this other room to enter this hallway that I'm now standing in. And so my tactical reload would be to put that fresh mag in. One, I want to do it quickly, but two, I got to make sure I'm in that position to have those few seconds in order to accomplish it. And then lastly, Remember, when I extract this mag, I want to be able to put it somewhere where it's ready to go should I need it in my last resort. Those are my last few rounds I'll have. So those three things, speed, in the position of safety, and retain that mag because it still has rounds in it. Perfect. And then when you put on a tactical reload, when you're putting a fresh mag in, you don't need to chamber the weapon, right? Because you already have a round in that chamber. Correct. Okay, perfect. Three, two, one. All right, so we went over the emergency reload with Big Daddy from a third person perspective outside looking in. Now I wanna show what it looks like from the first person view. So I'm gonna make sure my weapon is chambered. We're downrange shooting our weapon. Gun goes empty, click, click, click. It's either a malfunction or the magazine is empty. I can it to the left, I see the chamber's open, therefore I have an empty magazine. I bring it to my workspace, drop the magazine, grab a new mag, up into the mag well, chamber the new round, and I'm back down range on target. All right, so I showed you the emergency reload from the shooter's point of view. I'm now gonna show you the tactical reload from the same point of view. So again, we just cleared this room behind us. We're approaching this corner. We don't know what's around that corner, but we're in a relatively safe area with cover right here. I don't know how many rounds are left in my magazine, but I know I want to put a fresh mag in, especially because we don't know what's beyond that corner again. I'm on target. I'm going to bring the weapon into the workspace. I'm going to pull the magazine out, place it into a pouch, and grab a new magazine, fresh mag, place it back in, and go back on target. We're not chambering around because we still have a round in the chamber. On attack reload, we have one round in the chamber even when we pull this magazine out. So if, as we're reloading right here in our workspace, if somebody comes around that corner, a threat, hostile, whatever the case may be, we still have a round to be able to engage that target. Okay, one round, but we do have that round. So again, we're on the corner, right here, I'll get the three times out of the way. On the corner right here, into the workspace, bringing the mag out, placing it into a pouch, grabbing a new magazine. That chamber is still closed because there's one round in it. New mag goes in, back on target. All right, big. So, on an emergency reload, would we ever want to do it in the middle of the open, basically, with no cover or anything? Like, if I was standing out here, would I want to do an emergency reload? No. Preferably, you have a secondary weapon, and it's faster to transition, pull your secondary, and go to guns with that than it is spending the time to reload your weapon and get it to function again. Okay. But we'll cover that in another video. Yes. So, for the purpose of this video, let's uh, run through what an emergency reload looks like in real time using cover. 
Um, we're, I'm going to have you engage downrange right here like we did earlier. Go to full malfunction or empty and then do your emergency reload how it would look. All right. On you. Ready? Yep. Grab a new mag, bring that one up, insert it. Great. <laughs> oh, damn it. It was going so well. <laughs> I know. It's a stupid trigger button. <laughs> bring the weapon into my workspace, drop the magazine. Gosh, damn it. It's fucking mags. Back into the weapon. There should be a mag or a, a round still in the mag. Oh, fuck. Gosh damn it. Hold on. <laughs> Dr. Go!